My name is Holly Echeverria, and I am a wife and mother of four girls. So about two and a half years ago, my daughters and I were walking around Franklinton, and we stumbled upon this beautiful piece of land and this beautiful garden, and it had a sign saying, would you like to be involved in a community garden? And I immediately just was thrilled. So we just jumped in, and we have been serving now for two and a half years. The Franklinton Community Garden didn't start itself. It took a man with a vision, an unrelenting desire to serve his community in a way that was foundational. Needy families and seniors need to eat, and they need to eat healthy. Bernie did not spend years or even months planning and funding this project. Instead, Bernie and Mary Burrow just got to work with the attitude of let's just get started and we'll figure it out from there. Of course, we're talking about Bernie Meter, our 2023 Citizen of the Year. He is just extremely knowledgeable, patient teacher. We have learned so much and he's always so eager to explain. So I'm like, so Mr. Meter, why do you plant this at this time? Hey guys, I'm Carissa from the Franklinton Community Garden. You can see it's a beautiful day out here. Um, I just wanted to show you what we've been working on and what we picked today. All these cucumbers we have picked today, majority of them will go to the um, Franklinton Senior Center here on tomorrow and also the Lewisburg Senior Center tomorrow. I started out on a little piece, a little half acre piece just beyond my house. Of course, the, the, the community garden behind the Senior Center is only about 600 feet away from my house anyway. And, and then I, I started out originally on a um, half acre piece that my neighbor, uh, Horace Finn, let me use. We started out on that. Uh, my pastor encouraged me to uh, look into that land over at the, at the Senior Center. My life growing up, uh, we've had people help us in the past, when I was a young man in particular, a boy. And um, uh, I've always, always uh, felt a need to um, to pay that back, to give, to give back. The Lord's been tremendously gracious with me and merciful. So I have a seven-year-old and a four-year-old that comes with me every time we come to the garden, and Mr. Meter is so gracious and patient and always has jobs for them to do at the level that they can participate. The variety of crops produced last year is truly impressive, from lettuce to leeks, cucumbers to collards, and peppers to potatoes. Just as important is the introduction world crops like bok choy and Chinese cabbage. And um, uh, I wanted to give back and... Uh, uh, you know, make a contribution to the community. Really, that's 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 what it's all about. Yeah. He's a humble teacher, extremely knowledgeable. I always joke when I tell people about the garden that Mr. Meter could make things grow out of the concrete parking lot over there. The volunteers uh, are, are are wonderful, naturally. Everyone can give so much time. You know, we have people that come in and, and like we have Holly, they'll come in and do an hour a week, an hour and a half a week. We're, we're here, this is a, a beautiful little town, and uh, we're here to, su to support the community and, and the senior citizens and needy families. All the garden expenses were self-funded, but as the garden grew in size and production, awareness also grew. Small to moderate donations began funding the garden, and then the Calvary arrived in the form of volunteers provided by the United Way. And many of those same volunteers are still out there hoeing and planting today. I, I see the Lord's hand in this, honestly. We do it all without, we haven't uh, encumbered the town at all. This has all been through volunteers uh, at, at this point. To take nothing and just turn it into what it is now. 
by looking at a piece of land like that, as you know, it's been sitting for many years, that it wouldn't have, it, it wouldn't have been much to it. But to come and turn it into what it is today, it made my heart warm. And then he just took it from there and he's done good with it to help others. I really think Bernie is someone special because he has that gardening skill, but he also has the people skills. Um, not only when he's gone does the garden get unruly, but sometimes the people do also. But Bernie just has this way about uniting people who maybe ordinarily wouldn't be friends. We're actually raising about uh just about two acres to two and a quarter acres of, of produce altogether with about 20 to 25 different crops. And things are so, um, some people just, just can't, can't afford to uh, uh, buy them. And this is a, a, what I noticed when I came down here. Um, definitely promotes a cultivation of the love of gardening and the love of community and the love of just people in general. Bernie and his team of volunteers has grown and distributed across Franklin County tons of fresh produce. Not figuratively, but literally tons. Since envisioning this project and then acting upon it, Bernie has touched the lives of thousands of people, many, even most of them, never knowing the graciousness of the man providing it. But we know, and now you do too. Presenting again our 2023 Citizen of the Year, Bernie Meter.